Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. With uh, Halloween fast approaching, I thought I'd just do a quick review on one of the figures in my collection that I've not shown off before, which is the 2018 Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers, which has been completely rehauled by Nick Berg, who I found on uh, Instagram. I'll put his details in the description. Um, great service, um, pretty quick to get these done. Uh, good, good communication and I think his work is absolutely stunning to be honest um, yeah so um, I just want to have a just a quick video of showing this off as Halloween is approaching and um, this is one of the Myers figures in my collection with a few more to come so yeah let's have a good look at the head sculpt so here you can see Nick, who completely restripped, completely stripped this paint off, because um, uh, it was rather blue, and I didn't really like the colour. The paint job was okay, but it was really pale blue. Um, I'll put a few photos in here while I'm talking of the original scope, so you can see it. But he um, sort of completely stripped off it and repainted it, reweathered. Black wash, I don't know what he does, you know, sort of thing, but um, I'm on a new gimbal as well, so if it's a little bit shaky, I apologise, but I'll get used to it because that's what I wanted to do. Um, but overall, I'm blown away how this looks. Um, probably doesn't come out as good on the phone compared to what I'm seeing. I find that a lot with, especially under these sort of quite harsh module case lights. But as you can see here, Every angle looks awesome. Try and a bit more. Really well weathered. The sculpt is great anyway. Um, I don't know if you've set the eyes back on this one. He definitely did on my 2000, no, sorry, 1978 one, which you can see in the background there. Um, and the other one decayed well. Further down the case there, but I'm just doing that here for, doing it here for a few purposes. Um, but yeah, it looks great really sort of very very scary this to be honest I think this one and the kills are my favorite masks out of all the Michael Myers um, movies including the 78 I just really love this mask and if you look at my channel I've actually um, got a rehauled uh, trick-or-treat studios you know proper mask like that you can wear uh, by uh, that's been rehauled by Seven Sin Studios so look at my channel on that um, I've had loads of inquiries about that one because that mask is unreal um, but this is so good um, so real as well I mean some of these angles are so good it's a really good sculpt anyway but yeah, I'm really happy. Nick's done a great job on this. So I'll just show you what he did with the coveralls and everything because it wasn't just the head sculpt he did. Yeah, just going over the coveralls that Nick did. Uh, the angle there is awesome. Coming up. Um, yeah, completely weathered, re-weathered. Um, I don't know what he's done. The material feels a little bit different as well. So he's obviously painted it or sprayed it with something that makes it a lot more tougher. Um, the actual coveralls originally were pretty good, but these just look a lot more dirtier. Oh, he's also done what he's done to the body is um, made it, probably padded it out a little bit because it was a little bit skinny. So that makes the figure a lot more proportional to what James T. Courtney, I think his name is, that played Myers in the three films. But yeah, overall, with the weathering, you can see he's gone in here. It's just dying, just dirt and grime. Uh, but the whole thing was already there, but he's obviously just made it a little bit more weathered and battered. Like I said, filled out the sort of stomach area, padding, uh, just giving it an overall paint or spray or something, but it looks fantastic. The shoes. So also done the shoes. Um, uh, you can't really see them. Let me just pick them up 
here. Yeah, you can now. These weathered the shoes on the bottom. Sorry, guys, that's not very great to do it like that, but he's weathered the shoes a little bit so they look good. Um, just turn them. I've got a rotating base, but the batteries are gone at the moment. So, uh, again, just weathered the back. Yeah, they look great. And uh, just gives the overall figure a little bit more of a shelf presence along with the head paint. If I'd not got both done, I'd have always wanted to get the coveralls done, you know, afterwards because I think it makes a massive difference if you're going to go and get a proper rehaul done with the head, then it's a good idea to, um, you know, go alongside with the, the coveralls to go alongside it. So, yeah, very happy how these look. I just want to show you the hands as well because he's repainted those and they've just made them more bloody, more shiny. Oh, you can get in there and see it. Oh, that is gruesome. But yeah, he's just done the, like a sort of sweaty look with both hands, this side holding the hammer. You can see, yeah, there you go, that's a better angle. It's a really nice sort of light repaint on them, but they look pretty gruesome. Let me just move that over a little bit. There you go. I'll go in there. I mean, the original paint job wasn't too bad with Trick or Treat Studios, but I think Nick's just done a great job enhancing them and everything so yeah let me just uh give you my final thoughts on the figure so final thoughts um do not regret getting nick to, to rehaul this at all so happy how it came out um probably the only thing i will do eventually is it's still on the stock body so it's only got the single jointed elbows which is pretty crap to be honest so at the moment it's quite hard to get that sort of um that sort of, you know, bending arm sort of with the knife or the hammer, like, you know, sort of going up to attack sort of thing. So at the moment, they're very sort of museum-y sort of looking sort of poses. But to be honest, with Michael Myers, I think you can get away with it, with that sort of thing. So, um, but eventually, I, you know, when I've got time and a bit of spare cash, etc., I will change the bodies over. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy how it looks and, and get away with it. But overall, if you are wanting to get your figure rehauled, like I said, I'll put Nick's details in the um, description, but his work is awesome. Really happy it came out. Um, yeah, uh, lots more Myers stuff coming up actually. Uh, Nick also did my 1978, which you can probably see there. So he's just done that, rehaired it and repainted it, the tots one. So I'll probably do a quick video before Halloween on that. And I have, um, some other Myers figures coming that I'll be looking forward to reviewing. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully the gimbal thing is not too shaky because I'm still getting used to it. I hope that's all right. Uh, please like, subscribe to the channel and see you soon. Cheers.